I would say my first exhibit that ever moved me and it moved me because it educated me with the art in a way that I would never forget. And I realized the power of it was the Jacob Lawrence exhibit at the Phillips collection. And I saw it as a kid and it was probably, you know, my parents didn't buy much things for us. Again, there's five of us, but it was something my dad took me to that museum and he bought me the gift shop book. So oh. I have a really special connection to gift shops because they're like this beautiful access to things that are, you know, accessible, like the little postcards and the magnets, like, and they're fine art, you know? So I had that book. And then now that book is such a part of like my psyche because it was like one of the only things I could flip through. Yeah. And I just, the way it told the story of the great migration. And then also that's something my grandparents moved from New Orleans to DC in the thirties. And so it was this kind of circular thing that I still comes in, you know, my mind. Sometimes I think about that imagery and what it did for me. And I see it in my work. You know, I see the simplicity and some of the storytelling and the symbolism, not exact same, but like this version of it that comes out because obviously that's something that's like in there. Right. So I say Jacob Lawrence, I honestly dig early on, have a lot of influence from like the classics, like the Monet's and the Manet's and all those things, because that was always in front of me. And I did find something very soothing in that work, even though I didn't relate to it. Yeah. And so I think my whole practice and inspiration as an artist was always like merging these pieces I felt so much identity with and then merging this kind of classical beauty I was also looking at. 